Gajan American is saying, what are your thoughts on the white man's burden? Uh, okay, so the white man's burden was a was a poem that reflected a kind of attitude that people had towards what year was that? Towards colonial attitudes, trying to justify what they were doing by calling it a burden. It was 1899. Okay. So the problem, okay, so there's many problems with this, obviously. Okay. <laughs> um, the most obvious one being um, the, it being racist. Okay. Um, but even if it was not racist, right? Even if it was like, um, so, so it wasn't so race essential to make it seem like white man as a whole. So the idea for people who may, might not understand it is that the white man is in a position to, an, of strength, of civilization, um, and it has so it has the burden and the responsibility to go and civilize the rest of the world, right? The rest of the world is uncivilized. The white man has achieved. Um, some level of civility that the rest of the world is incapable of achieving and therefore it's going to actively therefore it is its duty for the white man to go out and give the gift of democracy and secularism and i don't know civilization and education and organization give that gift and educate the rest of the world and just bring them lift them up right um so that's obviously racist, right? To suggest that there's like some ethnic component, like it's obviously reeks of race supremacy, okay? But even if we wanted to fix it, maybe, let's see what would be the problems with that, If even if we wanted to adjust it, right? Let's say that we were talking about not white man's burden, but more at countries that are more developed, right? If we say the burden of these countries to civilize less civilized countries, right? The, and that, the problem with that is that it paints the picture that the goals behind uh, colonialism and by the British Empire and, you know, others, like, I don't know, Netherlands, Portugal, Spain, France. The goals were, the motivations behind it was humanitarian. Like as, as in like, this is, we, we, this is what we do. We don't want, it's a burden. We're going around and civilizing these places, not because we want to. Like, it's a, like the fact that it's being portrayed as a burden, it seemed like, like you're suggesting that it's coming at a cost to the white man, okay? But obviously it wasn't. This The motivation was not to go help these poor uncivilized people. The motivation, the driver was economic, right? There was a benefit to taking over these countries, right? And I think this specific poem was referring to the Philippines, right? Like all of these countries that you go and colonize and control, they have either political, there's a political agenda, there's an economic agenda, there's like a military agenda, security agenda, taking positions against other countries, right? But mostly it comes down to economics. It's not a burden, it's a benefit to, to, to these countries, right? But this is like a, you come after, like you, and you just you try to justify it morally by saying like oh it's such a burden oh my god we're here to lift you up as if that was the motivation right the motivation was self-interest national interest and economic but then you try to after you do that you're trying to paint a brush of like we're just being so noble and kind to do this right 
what I want to say is like, there are some benefits, obviously. Well, I mean, there have been some benefits to the countries who were colonized and some, a lot of costs, a lot of um, damages, but also some benefits. But to, but to, to act like those benefits were their intention is, com is completely hypocritical and dishonest, right? And just like, it's just self-congratulatory, right? Um, you could, if you want to celebrate the benefits, just celebrate the benefits. Don't make it seem like that's what, that was the intention, the main intention, right? Um, and also all the benefits that you could get from a shift of education, resources, power, influence, um, technology from more advanced country to less advanced countries will be done a lot more effectively, organically, and with less harmfully if it's done not through uh, colonial conquest, but just through mutually beneficial free trade, okay? So a lot of people might want to excuse uh, you know, colonial ambitions of the past by saying like, well, it benefited them, right? They wouldn't have all these railroads and all these factories and all these schools if they didn't show up. Like as if, if that same thing wouldn't happen, if instead of using force to come and, in fact, I would think like if it was just trade, a lot of this, would have been adopted faster, okay? Because there's a lot of, what, what ended up happening was a lot of cultural resistance was built up because of this looking like more of an invasion than a gift or than a um, mutually beneficial trade that all parties are respecting, right? Um, I. I think like it's possible that a lot of the things that eventually benefited these less advanced countries would have been welcomed a lot faster and accepted and grown a lot faster in these countries if it was just being if it was just going there through just like mutually beneficial trade open free trade right so that's my view of it What do you guys think? But he's just so disgusting, by the way. White man's white man's burden. This is like, oh, look at us, <laughs> look at us being so kind to the, to the rest of the world. Again, I'm not one of those people who denies the benefits, okay? But just still, it's just so disgusting. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.